Today on the channel, we're back on the Turtle Tuesday case with Super 7 Ultimate Edition, Glow in the Dark, Michelangelo. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! channel for another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review and today on the channel from Super 7 Ultimate Edition line we got the Super 7 store exclusive Michelangelo Glow in the Dark Edition but for all your non Super 7 exclusive needs make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free got to get a deal out there and of course you can also go to the super 7 store or the super 7 website and use code kyle p to support the channel so there you go and some people have said they found these at other retailers and stuff but this was originally sold as a super 7 store exclusive we got to remember that at the end of the day and at the end of the day we got to remember we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're going to take a look at the packaging we're going to talk about it we're going to unbox it we're going to talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, once again, let's look at the packaging on this one. Once again, you get that manhole cover. Kind of looks like a little street scene. Got some caution tape going on. Got some ooze sliming around. Michelangelo looking good. Property of TCRI, it says on the side. Also says it on that side. Classic turtle logo on the back. We know it. We love it. We want some more of it. How about that? How about that? Off there. See you later. Goodbye. Down to business here. Very cool packaging. Very different packaging. Very glow-in-the-dark packaging. Looks very cool. Under the lights uh, for a while, you heat it up or light it up, I guess. You put it underneath some lights for a little bit, and then you take it into a dark room, and man, it's a flashlight. That's what it is at the end of the day. But cool packaging design. We've seen it with these... Uh, Mutagen uh, Glow in the Dark Turtles before on this very YouTube channel. Of course, every Tuesday on Kyle Peterson 2.0 YouTube channel you're watching right now, we're doing a turtle video. So there's old Michelangelo looking good. Nothing too fun on the side over there, but on the back, all the magic. There's a little back action. We got a little blur. We're going to read it. Let's see what it says. But our old friend, Glow in the Dark Michelangelo, the wild and crazy turtle. Michelangelo is a party reptile. Even though the Sinister Strider may be slicing his way through the manhole cover, Mikey stays cool. In the midst of most perilous of battles, Mikey can be sw seen swinging his deadly nunchucks in one hand while dangling a wedge of pizza in the other. My kind of dude. That's it for sure at the end of the day. Love me some pizza. Love me some turtles. Love me some Michelangelo, my favorite Ninja Turtle right there. Goodbye once again. See you later. Now we get the old plastic prison here looking good. Michelangelo looking only like a glow-in-the-dark Michelangelo could look if he was in the plastic prison. But I'm going to grab my scissors, cut him out, free him, and we're going to be back talking all things glow-in-the-dark Michelangelo. All right, we got Michelangelo out of the twist ties, out of the plastic prison. Let's break it down and let's start it off with accessories first, as we always do right here. And we're going to start off with the little baby turtle here. Now, we've seen him with every single one of these mutagen glow-in-the-dark ninja turtles. We see one with Michelangelo here, and that's where we always say about these. They don't have all the bells and whistles of the standard Super 7 Ultimate Ninja Turtles. Not as many weapons, not as many accessories here. I guess a little bit of that money went into the glow-in-the-dark nature, as all this stuff does glow-in-the-dark, including this little baby turtle. Looks good. Once you get all four of them together, you can kind of recreate their... Uh, mutagen scene their uh, life story is what you can do but we do get that one there like we've seen with the other ones get a beautiful glow-in-the-dark slice of pizza i'm here for this all day long i might have him displayed with this in one hand and an unchuck in the other i may end up doing that but it is a nice slice of glow-in-the-dark pepperoni pizza looks like there's like pickles on it or something as well uh you know those turtles they always had some interesting pizzas that is for sure but we got that we do got two turtle communicators one closed one open choose your communication adventure at the end of the day both looking pretty good here. Both, once again, going to be glow in the dark here. Don't really use these with my turtles so much, but I do appreciate the fact we do get stuff like this. Then we do get the TCRI canister here. Once again, glow in the dark. A little yellow lines on there. Got a little mutagen spill off to the side. 
looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. And you know, these glow-in-the-dark turtles would be really good to mix in with your Toxic Crusader Super 7 Ultimate Edition figures. You can kind of feel like they're in the whole mutagen uh, ooze uh, kind of world. You could do that together. And that's what I'm thinking about doing with these. Uh, we're going to do something with them, and I'll talk about here later with the heads. But uh, mix them into that world. And I think that's where I'm leaning to do in my collection. And I'm waiting until I get all these unboxed to put the display up. But that's my early plans right now. Now we get hands all day long. We always get hands with these guys. Two gripping hands out of the box. You get the two big splayed out hands. They get a lot of reuse out of these turtles. Same hands being used. You get the splayed out hands, of course. Gotta have two fists of turtle fury all day long. Throwing punches and bunches like a young ninja turtle would do. And then, of course, two more gripping hands with the different hinges. So you got a little variety, variety of the spice of life in the hand department right there. And then, of course, the iconic Michelangelo weapon, the nunchucks. I am a little disappointed. I understand these want they want everything to glow in the dark. I get it. But these aren't really my favorite nunchucks because they just feel weird being straight out like this. They need to have a bend in it or they need to have a, a rope or a wire or a chain in between is really what we want to see. This is just weird. It seems weird to have a nunchuck standing straight up if you're holding it like this. Uh, and you don't really want to bend these because over time it will break the plastic. So as far as Michelangelo weapons go, I feel like they missed the mark on this one compared to some of the other turtles. Would have liked to have seen uh, a chain in between here or at least a bended one. Something different because... These just look silly, and I'm not going to bend it on myself. Like I said, it will break over time. So a little disappointed in the weapons department for this set right here. And then finally, we get down to the heads. I guess it's perfect time to look at the head that is out of the package. Of course, it is the traditional Playmates original Michelangelo head in the Super 7 Ultimate one. Now, we did unbox the regular version of this Michelangelo on the channel. Go back and find it. One of the might have even been the first Turtle Tuesday video we did on this new channel here. But he does look good here. I like the throwback to the original. But to me, since I already have the original head on the original Super 7 Ultimate Edition Michelangelo, I'm going to use this second head here. Now, this one we know very well. This one, a little different here. A little bit more open all the way across uh, on the mouth department. Little tongue going on, seeing all the teeth here. Just like the other one, you do got the yellow eyes and you got the waving uh, kind of bandana in the back. It's just another way to make these turtles feel a little bit more different than they really are at the end of the day. And I really am happy that Super 7 kept the alternate head here for us that want to do that kind of stuff. So that works out really good for me. Uh, not, I'm a big fan of this original one because it throws back to my childhood buying this. But for what this represents, the glow in the dark, I'm going to use the other head all day long. So there you go. Now we get Michelangelo, and it's uh, really turtles like we've seen it all the other ones here. Very similar body, of course. You got the M on the belt here. That's how you know it's Michelangelo. You got the orange coloring once again. That's how you know it's Michelangelo. You got the spots on the back to hold all of his nunchucks that he doesn't come with to hold back here. So that's a little strange. He does got the two knee pads, the two elbow pads, got the wrist tape going on in orange once again. Uh, looking good though, the yellow undershell, the green outer shell, all day long, it's a Ninja Turtle, you know who it is, the M, all day long, Michelangelo, kind of is what it is. Of course, articulation, the arms do go around on us, very tight joints, which I'm here for. Uh, you do get the bicep cut, you do get the single jointed elbow, side to side at the elbow as well. Hands removable, back four, side to side, of course, hands removable. Head removable, takes a little work sometimes, sometimes they're a little hard to get off, but his head is removable. A little bit up and down, not a whole lot, a little side to side, but you can't go all the way around if you need to. No real waist articulation on him, but you do get the big old turtle splits if you need them. Uh, no thigh cuts, but you know the legs kind of go all the way around as we know. Side to side on the knee, and then the up and down single joint. Ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down. Of course, does he fit on a ringside collectible Mattel stand? Make sure you get the Mattel stand. What do you know? It fits perfectly right there. Very interesting. Of course, the original version, they do not have holes in their feet, so they don't fit on stands. But you can definitely see the differences between these two when you get them out of the package. Look at that difference between those green colors. A dark, dark green over here, and then a glow-in-the-dark kind of translucent green on this side. No matter which way you slice the slice of pizza, though, it's still Michelangelo, and it's still very cool, and he's still my favorite Ninja Turtle after all these years. But looking really good here in the glow-in-the-dark edition. And like any Turtles line, I don't care if we're talking this one, the original Playmates line, uh, the glow-in-the-dark line, uh, NECA lines, Mirage, whatever you want to be, I feel like the turtles, you have to have all four. It feels weird if you don't have all four turtles together. That's just me. That's the way I collect. But uh, if I'm buying one turtle, I'm buying four turtles. That's the way it's going to be. And that's how it is with this one as well in the Glow in the Dark collection. So there it is. Michelangelo, Glow in the Dark. What are your guys' thoughts? Is this a pickup? Is it a pass? Is it a long game? Is it the dreaded no game? 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and the other YouTube channel. And don't forget about the old Patreon for early access to both channels' videos every single day. New content on the Patreon. A lot of content on the Patreon, that's for sure. And it is your best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Michelangelo, Glow in the Dark Edition, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.